Can you be more specific about what types of companies are going to face these taxes and how it's going to be calculated in terms of what they actually owe the state? Yes. We'll let that that. <laughs> so this uh, pollution tax would be assessed on fossil fuel companies who distribute <coughs> fossil fuels in the state. It's going to be as far upstream as we can go in the state of Vermont. That's the simplest way to go. It's also the right solution because fundamentally the oil and gas companies that are distributing these fossil fuels are creating the problem. As far as how it would be calculated, it's going to be based on the climate pollution that would be put out by the fossil fuels that they sell. So when you burn a gallon of gasoline or heating oil or gas, it creates a certain amount of carbon pollution. That's something that's a, a calculatable number. And <laughs> when you burn fossil fuels, you create carbon pollution. That number is knowable, and the state would be calculating the pollution tax based on how much carbon pollution would be created by any given fossil fuel. So they have to report that to the state, then, how much fuel, for example, they're distributing within Vermont. That's right, and that's something that they already do because of the gross receipts tax and, and other mechanisms. And again, are you going after someone like Exxon Mobil? I mean, way at the top? I mean, at what level is it distributors? I guess I just want to be very clear as to at what level this is going to be applied and if there would be any, say, increase to taxpayers at the gas pump, for example. If they would say, okay, well, Vermont's going to tax us this, we're just going to increase the cost somewhere else. So it would be on fossil fuel distributors. So again, as far upstream as we can go. So the you know, Irvings of the world, for instance. Um, as far as whether or not it's passed on, that would be up to the oil and gas companies. 